Hi there, my name's Kayla from Kayla's Crafty Creations and today I'd like to start this video off with some good news. With the help of Anna from Loaded Envelopes Galore, I and a friend have set up a group for those in the UK who wish to get into doing loaded envelopes and crafts and enjoying swaps within the UK. The group is on Facebook as I said. Uh, I will leave the link below. I'd love it if you could come and join us and join in the activities and the fun that we have on there. It's a very friendly group so please come along, please join us and let's make a big UK impact on the crafting community. Thank you. Um, so today I'd like to combine two of my favourite things and that's one stamping up and two my loaded envelopes and today I'm going to create a wand as I've been asked to by a friend Jill uh, who asked for a tutorial on this so then I'm obliging her so I'm going to start this using this paper which comes from the foil frenzy design a series paper and it's all metallics it is beautiful i love craft card but craft card and foil they're on a whole other level you've got some really pretty designs and it's got this lovely copper colors pink green blue and we've got stripes chevrons i think that's it so yeah this paper's absolutely adorable. I absolutely love it. This is my second pack of it. So I'm looking forward to making this uh, wand. Got what I was making then uh, with this design series paper. So to make this, so you're going to need some paper. You can either do it with A4 or with 12 by 12. I'm going to make mine with 12 by 12 because A, I've got the paper that I want in that. But you can make it from plain paper, you can make it from pattern paper. I prefer pattern paper to be honest, it's quite fun. Now, depending on the size of your fan that you're going to have, you can either do this one of two ways. This is the Tim Holtz one and basically you chop your paper and run it through your die cutting machine. It's the Tim Holtz mini paper rosette um, die cut and that's brilliant but it's not quite big enough for what I need so I'm going to do this the way I like to make them. I make quite a few like this so to start I need to decide the size of my wand I want a four inch wand head so I'm going to cut my paper into two two inch strips so using your paper trimmer trim your paper down to two inch strips as I say if you want a three inch wand it's one and a half inch if you want a two inch wand it's one inch if you want a five inch wand it's two and a half just half the size to get the size of what you need however the bigger the wand the more paper you're going to need this for me works well with the two so what I'm now going to do, oh, that's it, breaking the place, is using my scoreboard and my scoring tool, which is just here, I'm going to score at 
every half inch. So it's half inch, one inch, one and a half inch, two, until we get to the end of the paper. I'm pretty sure I'll probably... Oh, I misscored that one. As I was going to say, on the Loaded in Vertical Law page, you will find monthly swaps that you can join in. They're like, like little swaps and you find different partner. You're paired up with a different partner each month. Um, we also have chats and tutorials and most of us are happy to post a tutorial for those that wish to know how to make something. If we make it, we'll send tutorials, we share tips. We just have a good chat as well. It's all about sharing what you do with your craft. No one in the UK is excluded. All you need to be is crafty, a beginner, expert, intermediate, wherever you are in it, we would like to meet you and have you on a part of our group. So please join us. Now, for this particular wand, I want a patterned edge so it's at this point you would choose your pattern I've gone with my Martha Stewart heart border so lining this up I'm just going to punch one edge just going to line that up there and punch and punch all the way along until you're happy with your project now I do have a tendency to double punch these sometimes so I'm having to concentrate and not talk so much but as you can see it gives a very nice patterned edge to this one I really like it it's one of my favourites I've got quite a few of Martha Stewart's folder punches and a few Fiskers as well they're quite nice I've also got the doily maker which I absolutely love could use that as a backing. I have used that as a backing on a different wand, but I can't show you that right now because it's for a swap and I haven't got a chance to uh, it, send it out yet as the lady hasn't finished hers. But she'll get it soon and then I can share with you what I've been up to. I'm quite proud of the one I've just done. We've been doing the current month is think pink and I love a bit of pink and a bit of glitz so she's got it all it's pink it's girly it's everything I am right so I've now punched all the edge of that one as well so that's both of our pieces so begin on one end fold up your paper along your score lines and then just fold back and forth in a concertina keeping your lines in just making sure it's all folded in nice and easy right the way to the end and then squash that down so Carry on folding, hold on, I've made a mistake. Is that the way? 
I misscored it. I just feel like I haven't scored it enough. So, straighten that up. Fold it in. So my concertinas remain in their place. And I continue folding. Right to the end. Giving it a bit of a squeeze in between just to pressure the fold so they don't come out and unfolded. Right, so what we're going to do now is using our glue, we're going to glue this to this. So I use wet glue, I, you can use tape, you can use whatever it is you're comfortable using, but I like to use wet glue because it bonds the fibres and it all meshes together. So just give that a bit of glue there. Line it up. Hold it together for a few seconds so it just gets its first grip. Flip it round and we do the same to the other edge. So this time it's this end, it's the free end. That's it. Mm. Nice bit of wet glue. Pop it down, hold it together. Wipe off an excess glue. You can use any glue. This is uh, Eileen's, or Eileen's original tacky glue. I quite like this one. It's nice and handy. However, the big bottle can get a little bit much at times. Um, I also, I'm known to use Tombow, but I tend to get that absolutely everywhere. As you can see, I get wet glue everywhere, all the time. Now, you need to let that dry. So I'm going to come back in a couple of seconds when that's dry and continue with the tutorial. Okay, so now I'm back. Um, it's dried nicely. I've just checked how it looks. And, oh, squidge it together. And if you can see, that's how it's going to look. It's quite a cute little one. It's uh, going to look amazing the way when I'm finished, I hope. Well, in my head it looks amazing already, but we'll see. So, I'm going to use one of these doilies by... Do crafts. Unfortunately, I didn't have any from Stampin' Up. I haven't seen any by Stampin' Up. But I'm just say like, very new to this. And what I'm going to do is got a slightly pearlescent finish to it. So I'm going to use that, and I'm going to put that onto there with some hot glue in a sec, and. I'm also going to insert my straw now. I haven't chosen the straw yet, but hopefully I'll have one that works well. Give me a second. Let's get my glue gun up. Hmm. Right, just like this. Plug it in. There we go. So, if you can see, I want to sit that in the middle of the doily. So, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to add some glue to the doily. Then I'm going to flip this over and use a straw. Now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be using 
using a gold snowflake, although I'm not using it as a snowflake, so I think maybe the little love part one. Got a few of those there. So I'm going to pinch the end of that so that it's flat, ready to insert into my wand. Just pinching the end helps slot it in. So see how hot my glue gun is. Is it ready? Not quite ready yet. I'll get there. Give it a couple of minutes. Well, another minute or so. Um, as I was saying earlier, the group is now on Facebook, uh, Logan of Electrical Law. Um, we're looking for new members, and any member that adds another member will be entered into a draw to win a prize made by myself, one of my 3D creations, maybe an album, or a stationery set, or a mini album. Right, where are some hot glue? I'm going to change the stick because that one doesn't seem to want to go in. Right, let's change the glue stick. There we go, that's a better one. There we go. Right, so I'm just going to add some hot glue to the centre of the doily. Like that. And then we're going to take our concertina and very carefully, and without burning yourself, which is what I normally do, pop that into the centre so that it holds nicely just checking that's all in the centre now not quite give another second just to cool off I do believe the, the snowflakes that I'm about to use are in the clearance rack. So if you want to pop onto the clearance rack and bag one of these, they are beautiful and I love working with them. I've done a few projects now with these. Is that going to hold or is that going to pop up? Let's see what happens. Right. I need one of these gold snowflakes. I don't think they look very much like snowflakes, I quite like them as just decorations to be honest. So, what I'm going to do first, is a little bit of glue to the other side of my paper straw. I'm find one of the joined edges. There, and then about the bottom, and I'm just going to slide up and pop that in there for a sec and that should hold nicely now to attach that I'm going to just use a little bit of hot glue and lay that on top oh, that's it glue hairs little tip if you've got lots of glue hairs once it's all cooled down, you can use your heat tool just to heat it up and melt the glue so that it disappear into your craft project rather than having all these little hairs, little glue hairs everywhere, which I find very frustrating. So that's my one so far. Next, we're going to look at decorations. So, oh, my tummy is talking to me. I thought I would use. little homemade rose right in the center so I'm just going to get, no, pop that onto there and use the hot glue that's already seeped through and that is my very basic wand but it gives you the idea of how to make it so I hope that's been helpful and that you've enjoyed this tutorial if you have please give me a little like and share me on Facebook and 
fingers crossed you'll join us on Loaded Envelopes Galore UK, links to which will be below as well as a list of all the products that I've used today. Thank you.